legal capacity and you. Although often in these situations, it's legal capacity and a loved one. It's a very troubling thing to have to deal with where someone that you care about and love may not have legal capacity anymore. What is legal capacity? It's completely a legal term, not a medical term. It's how lawyers determine if someone is able to understand documents that they're signing, choices that they're making. We can't allow someone who has no clue what they're signing to sign that document because they lack the mental capacity. And it could be because of an accident, medications, could be strokes, or dementia or Alzheimer's comes up into play. If you question whether someone has legal capacity and you need them to sign documents, then the lawyer may require a doctor's note confirming they have legal capacity. Uh, sometimes we'll just know on our own by running through a list, a checklist that the law society has provided to help us understand, to make sure someone really understands what it is that they're committing to. If you have questions, call. It's a challenging topic to bring up and really difficult on family members and the person who may or may not know what's going on completely. It's so important to have that capacity checked off because then a will may not be valid, contracts may not be valid, and you don't want to ever put someone you care about in that situation. As hard as it is, it's easier to deal with before things get signed than after. That's another Kahane Law Legal Minute. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget, like our video, share our video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get the updates whenever we post new ones. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.